35-year-old Rodrigue Bacula has lived in this two-bedroom house in Akebe Frontier for more than 12 years with his wife and six children. Like many who live in this area, which has a population of more than 40,000, Bakula dreams of one day owning a home of his own away from the slum. Bakula says the government's ambitious housing plan is a good one, but that it does not take into account the cost of new homes, which many like him cannot afford. I know these houses cost more than 15 million francs, yet there are not many who can make 15 million francs or even 2 million francs a month. The low-cost housing project is based on a campaign promise made by President Ali Ben Bongo when he came to power in 2010 to slowly phase out slums in Libreville by building a minimum of 5,000 houses per year with an estimated 35,000 houses built by the end of his term in 2016. You can see for yourself the poor neighborhoods that we live in. This project that the president has introduced is important to us. It's a good project and it will help us to get out of these poor neighborhoods. We have no water. We are suffering here at the Bay of Pigs. Our houses often get flooded. Critics are skeptical that the government will succeed, with hundreds of houses still under construction three years since the inception of the project in 2010. Former Director General of Gabon's National Infrastructure Agency, Henry Hayon, says that the process has taken longer than expected because the government is building the houses according to the, the smart code, code model. Smart code was introduced in the United States over 20 years ago, and in many industrialized countries. It is used as a guideline where every district should be built with certain rules, which allow, for example, that when your children leave the house to take a bus to school, they should not have to walk more than five minutes on foot. According to government figures, Libreville needs around 160,000 houses to meet the city's housing demands. Real estate expert Philippe Chandezon says that the number may be exaggerated and reflecting the housing needs on a national level instead. There are a little over 1.8 million people in Gabon, half of them live in Libreville. That makes 800 habitants. An average Gabonese family is made up of five people. And if we do the math and take 160,000 and multiply by five, we can house all the residents in Libreville. He says that the real challenge for the government is funding the project. The government says it is looking into ways to fast track the construction as it reviews funding options. Maria Galang, CCTV.